Well, as we try to squeeze in as much fun as possible during the summer, at some point, we'll all be headed to a barbecue, pool That's party, right. or other gathering. But you'll likely want to take a host gift to show your appreciation. But where do you begin? Well, I enlisted the help of local business, City Bird in Midtown. That can help us all. They've helped me before. And joining us from City Bird is Charlotte Sarnacki. Hi. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> now we're all like, ooh, we're like all in the stuff. over here. I yes. Know. And there's a reason. So full disclosure, I have used their services before, and it's been very helpful in putting gift baskets together. Mm. So, and they're always a hit, my friend. I yeah. bet. It's a hit. <laughs> of course. So, what are the basics brothers. that we need to think about when we're putting together a host? or hostess gift? I would say definitely you'll want to be thinking about the type of gathering you're going to mm -hmm. um, and always you know just the personality of the host or hostess um, just kind of if they have a special hobby or interest or what their home looks like you're gonna kind of want to try to you know match that yeah, yeah. Mm. that's definitely what you guys told me what do they like yeah yeah, what, yeah. Do like? what do they like yeah. yeah and Labor Day is coming up so you know the last mm -hmm. family cookout yeah. of the season yeah. so <laughs> yeah. we got to figure out what we can bring to Absolutely. the family cookout so yeah got some ideas yes definitely these. yeah so over here I have kind of some cocktail and baking things kind of you know we have some locally made jams and honeys mm -hmm. some hand engraved rocks glasses for those cocktails um, you mentioned that you know you had one of those I do kits. I have yeah. one of these cocktail kits right here I haven't used it yet yeah look how cool really that great. is yeah really yeah cool. kind of on the go I'm um, just easy to gift for somebody mm -hmm. some local cookbooks yeah this is for like the baker yes. foodie yeah. right because I've also right. I think I've probably bought five of these sister pie books from <laughs> your store specifically. Yeah, they're, amazing. they're always a hit so if someone likes to bake and cook mm -hmm. you've got everything from Baking gloves? Yeah. I don't know the right yeah. word. You can see I Oven don't do knit. this much. <laughs> oven mitts? <laughs> they're, they're called oven mitts, Tati. Thank you. They are baking gloves, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. So you get everything for your baker yeah. in your yes. life? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then we have just oh, kind of some. Oh, my poor friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some like general housewares, some picture frames, which are also locally made, um, some local art, you know, if they are in Michigan or Detroit. Um, yeah. Some flowers are always a hit. Mm -hmm. These are dried, so it's like easy and, you know, they'll mm -hmm. stay last forever. And then just some more kind of cooking kitchen. Um, we have some other cookbooks, some mm -hmm. cool food shaped candles, that kind of thing. Which so. is always great. And yeah. these are great to give to people, these pictures here that you mentioned, yeah. Yeah. as gifts when people come and visit you Definitely. and leaving. So they have like a little Detroit yeah. memento. Yeah. It's a great souvenir. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love the mm. element of surprise, mm. right? Yes. So how do you suggest that we think outside of the box when we're putting these together? Um, you know, I would kind of say trying to find, we're, we, you know, I think one of our specialties is definitely unique gifts. Mm -hmm. So things that people are not already going to have kind of at their home. Um, so, you know, like, for example, this cutting board slash serving board, I yeah. mean, that's very unique. And charcuterie is the moment right yes. now. And yeah. So that's yeah. going to be great. We have this yeah. book, too, on yeah. boards, which is, you know, specializing in charcuterie so yeah kind of just yeah definitely like you said you want to think outside the box um, of course locally made gifts are always great for that because you're not mm. going to find them just anywhere yeah, yeah. and look at us customizing Customize. even more we're going to yeah. take yeah. a cutting board from the baking right. section and yeah. going over yeah. to that section yeah. Yeah. it makes a match it really does and use no. our oven uh, our <laughs> baking gloves <laughs> <laughs> so when people walk into City Bird, what can they expect? What's the vibe? How? Uh, what's the feel of it? Yeah, we specialize. Yeah, so definitely a lot of locally made things. A lot of artists who live in the area. Um, we try to you know support their businesses and sell their you know whatever all kinds of handmade mm -hmm. things. Um, and then Nest, our sister store, is specializing more in actually housewares, so like a lot of kitchen, garden, barware, that kind of thing. Yeah, mm. most definitely. And of course, you guys will help us put these baskets together because when I've reached out to you in the past, I just said, look, the person kind of likes this stuff, and yeah. they literally yeah. put together some ideas for me. And yeah. And it really worked amazing. out well. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, Great setup. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you guys located, and how can people follow you on social media? Yeah, so we are at 460 West Canfield, and then um, our website is citybirddetroit.com where you can find gifts from both City Bird and Nest and we are on Instagram and Facebook at City Bird Detroit. Yeah, you guys definitely right. check them out. Lots of locally made things. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you Thank so you. much. All right.